welcome again to another video on here if you're new here hi lillian here to all of you my returning subscribers i want to say a very big thank you and i also want to apologize in advance because certainly some people will find this video offensive i beg you when it gets to the part where you feel very offended click out okay come back another time when i'm doing the videos that you would love to see but today it's time for us to have that conversation and <laughs> today i'm not going to be nice i mean to tell you that this is a reaction video it's not in my character to talk about women in a negative way but sometimes some women you can't help but give them a taste of their own medicine i try to avoid the women no matter what they do i just try to ignore it except maybe you're doing to other people and because i hate to take anyhow behavior i have come back to fight these women otherwise I tolerate women a lot and i have talked about why i have a special place in my heart for women because we are good people but some women are not giving me that energy and it's kind of annoying especially when these women are women from my own country and when they want to do something like that on the internet they go on to bring the whole of my country along with them to do it today i'm reacting to a youtuber her name is um just cheesy i used to call people sis but you i won't call you that i'm going to say madam this is like the third time i'm doing a video about this woman and each time i finish doing this video i'll feel like okay maybe she'll make a change for we like i said the other time i am not subscribed to just cheesy but youtube will introduce these videos to you on the front page especially when a topic is trending so i think because she has been doing a lot of the trending topics lately which is south africa versus nigeria so youtube have brought back a page right into my nose so when i saw this one i clicked on it and she has a lot to say about her fellow woman and i wanted to ignore her but because she went on to say nigeria nigeria this is where i'm coming and another thing is from now on single mothers are no longer allowed to be bullied no one is allowed to bully single mothers okay i am going to be their voice i am going to be the voice of single mothers from now on but since i don't have all the power the resources to take it offline i'm starting my campaign from online just cheesy made a video talking about a fellow woman a kenyan lady who fall pregnant by a nigerian man and the man in turn used his ways to play smart you know you know we are the smartest people in the world when this lady went to lagos nigeria to visit her friend whether she's saying the truth or not she was in lagos nigeria according to her for a wedding she's lying or not she's a young girl who feel like okay let me go to nigeria and then she went to lagos she met with one of their rich men they call him kubana chief priest according to her being a foreigner in that country she knows nothing about this man she don't even know this man so the man whatever happened between them happened so she got pregnant and by the time she got back to kenya she informed the man oh i'm pregnant to oh, please what should we do the man said no you don't have to do that and then after she went back and then trying to contact him he blocked her so this lady went on like that and then tried her best to reach out to this man being a according to just cheesy a mighty 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 millionaire you know if you have money in my country you are above the law i think the only thing that still keeps some of us that are not rich in my country alive is because of god almighty and you can never tell me to stop believing in god coming from a country like nigeria because <laughs> that is the only source of your life if you don't have money so she tried her best to reach out no way luckily for her she was able to connect with gist lover that time gist lover was still on instagram his page has his or her page have not been taken down the lady reached out to gist lover explaining all that all that transpired between her and kubana chief priest just love and know how to he knows how to get these people or he or she knows how to get these people to be responsible to take accountability for their actions so ob i mean a kubana chief priest denied the lady he lied that he, he had nothing to do with it nothing thank god some nigerian men 
in Lagos sent some money to the lady and told her use that money first to take care of herself. So when she delivers, they are going to make sure that Ubi Kubana, I mean, I keep saying Ubi Kubana, Kubana chief priest will come for a DNA test. You know, they will do a DNA test. So the lady was ready. She wanted a DNA test so that they can move on with this because she is not asking the man to marry her. She's only asking this man to be responsible for the baby financially. Kubana chief priest have not done anything up to now. He has denied her. He don't care. He flaunt his wife. And of course, his wife. <laughs> because there's money. You think she's going to leave her husband? My dear sister. Where this video is, is because of just cheesy coming out to blame her fellow woman. He want to tie the man because he have money. I thought that Kenyans are calm. A Kenyan girl who is trying, should I even say that she's trying to blackmail this Nigerian billionaire? Governor Chief Grace is a multi-billionaire, like he's a Nigerian billionaire, a very good friend of Davido, like the singer Davido, right? And I even told him, okay, fine, if you want me to do a abortion now, let me do because I don't want problems with you. I will not want problem with you at all. Just help your child. Because as you can see now, I don't have anything. I've used all my savings since I was pregnant up to now. I'm begging you. You've threatened me. My life is in danger. I don't even know what your plans are. But I'm just begging you to come and please help your child, please. Even when you want us to do the DNA. I told you, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I'm just begging you. I know it's not easy for you to. I'm begging you. Well, she's actually lying as this. She claimed in this video that she had nothing, that she had nothing doing, that she's broke, that she needs Pascal to please um take full responsibility so that he can um he can assist the baby or whatever, right? Now, remember that this lady said that she actually came into Nigeria for a wedding. Like you flew all the way from Kenya. You flew all the way from Kenya to Nigeria just to attend a wedding. And you want me to believe that? You want me, your fellow lady, to believe that? No, you are lying. You lied. You are actually in Nigeria. Though you are a Kenya, fine. You are a Kenya, right? But you've been in Nigeria and you know who Kobana chief priest is. And you've been targeting him. You've been targeting him because you know he's a big fish. You feel he's the kind of person that you can actually... You want another banter with Kenyans, right? Kenyans are the only African countries that Nigerians cannot stand on social media. And I don't want them to come here and come for me. Yeah, I thought that Kenyans are calm. Kenyans are calm. This lady is pregnant. I mean, it's not her fault. This is a foreigner. You have always been the one just cheesy in this Ghana complaining about everything in Ghana everything eh why don't they like us why don't they sometimes I feel like some of Una for this YouTube some of Una Una they take something because I don't understand Una you a woman normally normally is in the habit of Nigerian men to hate on women but when I see a woman like you and a few others from Nigeria doing that it's very disappointing you think that your husbands they used to tell women outside that they have you people they don't Okay, they don't tell this woman for you to come out and blame her instead of you to just maybe shut up. If I were you, just shut up. Basically, shut your mouth. No, you want to do it, make it look like a banter between Nigerians and Kenyans. Go straight to the point and say, Igbo man and Kenyans, leave Nigeria out of it. I mean, it's not between Nigerians and Kenyans. You people are in this habit. If it's a good thing now, you will say Igbo man, Igbo man. But when it is something that is despicable and shameful you people will say uh, nigeria please take a break my heart goes out to Igbo men like pito b because the way some of you are behaving you are just sabotaging the political career of this man and it hurts me because i know amazing Igbo people and some of them on youtube here especially the ladies they have come out you how many times have you have we seen you come out to condemn anything that a nigerian do no time except for now that you're looking for views from south africa uh, from south africans you have come out now you are saying chocolate chocolate things and there is no single Igbo man or boy like they always do at our comment section condemning how they're allowing her to say check check who are these people in south africa that are causing problem for nigeria i used to say that if nigeria do not have some tribe 
among us our crime rate would have been just few few would have been like other countries and then they say hey, bad people there for Ghana too. Bad people there for... you would have been like that you wouldn't have been the bad overwhelming the good because it's not fair like you expect the world not to hate you now this woman is supposed to raise that child alone because a multi-millionaire has a wife and this is where we continue to kill the peace we have by killing the future don't you know that a child is a future a child is a future you see that everywhere you go people hate you i came to this country called ghana with high hopes when i came here i was living happily i thought i was going to die and be buried here i was so happy when i came to ghana i thought oh finally i found my peace everything was okay for me i was happy i was everywhere i was traveling carelessly i was happy with everybody i barely see any wrong in ghana and i was just like that on see you people carry on a yam festival i've been a hound they call them can't do for ghana when this hate came guess who suffered the most some of us especially me every every videos that some of these Ghanaians were making you hear them call lily ogini lily ogini lily ogini they do not know that i have nothing like if anything happens to me today none of you this tribe that they are, i'm being hated for will not even they won't answer me because i'm they don't know me but when it comes to the hates i take it for them i take the bullets it, oh, i know amazing Igbo beautiful ladies like or oh, stand up for or say something but you see that group that i'm being hated for they will tell you they don't know me but guess who takes the hit who takes the bullets who takes the trauma who takes the emotional meltdown the emotional stress me honor me poor me from a tiny tribe that you people do not respect you don't even regard we exist except of course when your people go there to do what they like if you want banter because you have you, you see that the banter between south africa and nigeria is paying you leave nigeria out of it if we now want to face kenya face them with your tribe i am tired of doing these videos i am tired i keep saying that nigeria keep experiencing hardship and insecurity and lack of peace is because you personally you use your hand to keep the peace don't you know that women are peace women and children signifies peace in a country that signifies peace but you you kill it this is how much they hate a woman and you have kids they hate you now you as a woman coming after a kenyan lady who a man has abandoned with kids do you know what it means this is why when your husband died like flies and leave you people you'll be crying everywhere or something happens to them let me play some of the videos that people are crying everywhere just because their husbands are not around for just few times few few if i can find well, this video i can't say anything here let me play some <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is how they do it too <laughs> they will cry a mountain they will cry and then when they see some of us that have taken it take it some of us some of us you see your husbands they can't stand like the things we do your husbands can't do it they can't do it but you, you still want us to go down you want us dead you want us out of this world because of what you hate the future you hate children you hate women you hate peace I have never seen this just cheesy ever any day condemned. The only time she came out to fight was when this Igbo festival was supposed to go in on in Ghana. Another YouTuber from that same region came to Ghana. The, the first place she visited in Ghana was that palace to go and hear things by herself to understand what is going on. But you are here in Ghana, nothing. All you do is you come and show them that you can pepper them. Now, South Africa banter won't finish. You want to create another one? Keep Nigeria out of your mouth. Obi Kubana is an Igbo man, and that is how you guys behave. Why do you feel it's okay to shame your fellow woman because she took in? No woman, for me, for me, I can relate to her story. When I came to Ghana, yeah, I'm young and I was single. I'm single and I mingled. Mingled after mingling, he resorted to pregnancy. And when I told this man I was pregnant, he did not deny me. He did not say, okay, I don't know you, oh, I don't do this. Oh he did not the only thing he didn't do was he did not support me then later what did i do when i came to ghana yeah he later changed his mind immediately the baby came he changed his mind but when i came to ghana something happened and i felt like okay i no longer want to do this i want to do it the legal way i went to the police station in ghana a foreigner now that time safe i've not even gotten my papers i went to the police station guess what the ghana police did right there and there right that minute 
there was amount of money that he was told to pay me him and his mistress there was amount of money that was told to be paid to me instant for stressing me can you relate can that happen in your country if people keep blaming women you keep killing peace and when i see women doing it to their fellow man it hurts me and this is why i'm doing this video for you just cheesy i was living in ghana in peace before your people start all this they are wahala now look at me at my all oh my peace my peace is gone because of what i'm nigerian they don't know that have you you guys have no regards for me you don't even consider me a human you don't consider me human being you don't have any love for me if anything happens to me you don't care but i'm taking the hate on your behalf but, but you, you keep raising serial killers and rapists because all that matters to you is marriage husband because that is your meal to eat what about the child do you consider that innocent baby now that baby is born and the baby look exactly like kubana chief priest what do you have to say about that if you don't have anything to say about your fellow woman then shut up stop acting like you know they're okay over there what is this focus on your south african content you are getting the views from there it's okay focus since you are Igbo now if you like talk down on nigerians nobody will call, nobody will hate you then your Igbo people will be at the comment section applauding you for it keep it up but please leave the name of nigeria out of your mouth yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you, you want to get you think it's everybody that is after money like some of una. everything about your lives the man you marry the food you eat the business you do the places you go this is and that yeah now yes she's saying south africans i feel their pain they are complaining in ghana do you feel their pain you live in ghana do you feel the pain of ghanaians those that are complaining that they are tired of us some of us are no longer okay i'm no longer comfortable because i care about how people feel that is how to really truly feel i am no longer feeling okay i feel like i'm disturbing their peace and because i feel that way the peace i used to enjoy the joy the happiness the joy everything is gone i'm now living in fear living and sitting and waiting for that day that they'll say you people should go but you you have never there have never been a day i see you lift a finger for your host country but you are there south africa but just i don't care if you're getting the views or not it's none of my business but keep that woman out of your mouth leave her alone otherwise me and you you see for this youtube we'll go banter each other if all my subscribers want to go away they are free they are free to unsubscribe me nobody is saying obi i've been a kubana chief priest should leave his wife they are saying take responsibility for the child a child now they are saying eh hey, he want to collect the baby from her and give to who the kenyan lady if you see this video kenyans tell that lady she tries it you see that baby they are going to turn that baby into oh my god a slave okay i am saying this they will they will turn that baby into a slave don't try it if you can't if you have to beg do please beg to raise your child raise your son and leave them for karma karma not they sleep you know they select you think it's good for your husbands to go out there and impregnate women randomly and you don't blame them constantly you blame your fellow women for the sins of your husbands because you want to stay with those men to enjoy you think that god will not judge you people nobody is stopping you from staying with a cheating man but please what about the innocent woman do you know what the lies that men tells women the law is not working and people are hating you everywhere you people will go and cause all this trouble you come and rub it on nigeria and then nigeria. i don't want to make this type of videos anymore i'm tired basically i wake up every day i'm still nigerian and when you talk they are the first to come at the comment section what did he say he will do to you now an Igbo man wait it's going to be a long video basically an Igbo man sent a voice note to a youtuber here in ghana insulting ghanaians abusing them warning them but guess what when the replies were coming guess who suffered it nigeria but this man sent a voice note in the name of his tribe warning Ghanaians to stop talking about his people but when the replies were coming call who were they bullying nigerians everybody so how much harm do you people want to cause for me right now i'm now living like this i'm i'm not the joy i used to feel before you people brought all this your these things the yam festival they say you shouldn't do not do now you they toss a man Nigerian so South Africa. Yeah, yeah. The young festival when Ghana people some Ghana people say Muna no do no do am. Una do am. Una do am. Who they pay for it? Some of us, especially me. And I, no matter how much I try to explain that. I have nothing to do with it. Do you know that my own New Year festival was on the 16th of this month? And it was done back at home. But your own, you have to do it anywhere you like. And you continue to bring hatred on, on, on top of our heads. And now you are sitting to talk about your fellow woman. Leave that woman alone. Okay? Kenyans, tell that lady, if obey, what is it, Chief, Kubana, Chief, whatever, don't want to take care of her baby. She can do it. 
I am doing it. I'm not dying. I'm doing it. I'm raising three kids, two that I gave birth to, one that I bonus for myself because I realized that the only way for her to get a good life is probably when she's with me and she's assisting me because I don't have any other person. She goes to school. She's like, she's my daughter now. She's like mine. So, but tell the Kenyan lady never to release her son to these people, no matter the amount of money they give. Because see what they are going to do to that child. Hmm? See, the man's family is not going to support the baby. The, the society, you see, like, oh God, if you know my country, some of you that love to roll with our men, you won't do it. I have seen a couple of Kenyan women. I know Linda Frank on YouTube here, married to an Edo man, happily. Do you know that they do come to Nigeria, she and her husband? They do come to Bini. She's very good. Like, she loves coming to Nigeria. And then I know another one today. I was going on YouTube. I saw another one. Her husband is from Ondo State. Mm. Uh, Yoruba man married her. They are happily together in Ondo State. Una, oh, they go marry. Una, this Una people go marry Kenyan women or South African women. Leave them there with children. Come back alone. Come they marry Una for house. You people will be, see, you people should, I'm tired. Basically, I'm tired. You are doing it to him. You go, you cause this problem. They'll tell you, come and protest. You say you are not protesting. And then Peter Binko, you say, you, when it's time to vote election, you will not go and vote. You sit down in, in different parts of the world. What's in the portion from Una house? Go home. Election is coming. You people should not go home. Don't go. Stay in Ghana. Stay in South Africa. Continue to stay even in uh, countries that people are not supposed to go. Hmm? Go there. Countries that you are not welcome. Stay there. And fight with them that you must stay there. Don't go and vote. Then you continue to say people are marginalizing you. My heart goes out to incredible Igbo people. These ones that are, they will never, they will not even hurt a fly. But majority of the people that are on the internet doing this are from there. And I begin to wonder, how do you feel the people that are not doing this from there? How do you feel? Don't it hurt you? Can't you tell them to please tune it down? Just cheesy. Leave that Kenyan lady alone, okay? I am a single mother. I know her pain. She doesn't want the man. Trust me, no woman wants to be with a man who abandoned her with pregnancy. You see, no woman wants that man. Once you abandon us with pregnancy, for me, that is it. I don't want you again. So, you understand? You, you don't understand anything. Because they are providing for you. They, they, that's why when this man, I live on, I'm not going to disturb everybody everywhere. Nonsense.